Now think about the difference. In a fitness center, we want to have access to marketing to their, their clientele, and we always give them a special discount for them, because if they're already paying the, fit, the fitness center a certain amount a month to participate, to then add the UBC on, you know, it's not fair if somebody walks into their facility, joins the UBC, and gets access to their gym for 10 weeks as a member of the UBC, which is a, how you want to set it up. If they come and join the UBC at that facility, they should be a member of that facility for the 10 weeks back to the UBC. So you have to give current members a discount, which is okay. They're already there, they'll fill the class, it's, you know, it's inexpensive advertising, basically you just got to market it inside the facility with posters and flyers, and the owner needs to email those clientele to exciting, announcing the exciting new program that you have coming in. But that's internal marketing. In other words, you're not really spending a lot of money outside of that facility to bring people through the door. And again, the fitness center in the beginning will be okay with that because they want to see the program succeed but they're gonna to wanna to see over time that you're spending money to bring new members into their facility. They're gonna see that as a benefit. To where if I go to, let's say, we have in Pinellas County, Florida, where my school is in Seminole, we have uh, in their school system for all the employees of what we call the Pinellas County school system, wellness directors that are assigned to every school in this district. And the job of that wellness director is to try to keep the employees of the Pinellas County school system fit. We're not just talking teachers. We're talking the bus drivers. We're talking the, the, uh, the janitors. We're talking the teachers. We're talking administration. We're talking principals. We're talking everybody. So that's what they do. They're, that's their job. So they're or one of their roles. I don't know if they actually get compensated for it or not. I don't think they do, but it's still, it's kind of a prestigious position. So they're always looking for ways and things that they can give to the employees of the school system, whether it's a discounted membership or a program that will actually come into their facility and train the staff. And that's what we have been doing. We got to know the person who ran all of the wellness directors, the head of that organization in our area. In fact, we got more fortunate. She ended up taking the UBC and training with us, loving the program, actually becoming a coach, and kind of guided me to how to go through the hoops so we could become a rec recommended program and, gave, and ended up with all the emails of all the wellness directors in Pinellas County. And Pinellas County is one of the most densely populated counties in the country, so it was a lot of emails. So we ended up marketing it to them, letting them know, and the thing I really wanted to emphasize, instead of just giving them a discount to come to my facility, which we offered, but then again, you know, if Pinellas County, which is a large area, which you know goes 20 miles north and 10 miles south, and it's pretty dense and pretty long, pretty big, that if the person, the school was you know, 15 miles away from me, they're not gonna drive all the way to my facility, no matter what kind of discount I gave them. So our idea was to actually put the UBC in the school to where the teacher gets out of school at 3, they could go right to a classroom at 3.30 and take a UBC class. By doing this, it really made the biggest challenge that most people have, and that's motivation or time away. In other words, as soon as they get done, they don't even get in their car to go to the facility, they just go to a classroom. By doing this, we were able to eliminate basically our marketing costs because now we're marketing to the employees of the school and the surrounding schools. And that's pretty easy to do with flyers to the teachers and announcements and, and the wellness direction helps you and assists you. In fact, what they'll do is they set up a time to come in and talk to the staff because it really is feedback from the employees of what they want. Do they want something like this in their facility? So hopefully you'll get an opportunity if you kind of follow this structure to go into that school and make a presentation to people and maybe at a staff meeting or a faculty meeting about the UBC and what benefits you can bring to them. Well, we've started one school. It took a while, a couple meetings, emails, didn't get a lot of response, and then all of a sudden we got one. And what's cool about that one, the principal actually took the course. And out of the eight, we only had 10 people that started but realize it was 10 people at $200 a head. We gave them a $150 discount off my regular price. Why could I do that? Because really my expenses were minimum. We were doing the three classes a week, not the 
six, we're doing the kickbox conditioning class. I was going to go ahead and teach at least one a week because I wanted to get used to this process to be involved so I could know what to do in the future as challenges came. So I was only really focused or stuck with paying instructor twice a week, we pay $20 per class. So I'm at $40 a week for 10 weeks, basically $400 in cost for my instructor. We charged $200, we've got 10 people, so we did basically $2,000 in revenue. Now, of course, I had my startup costs of my bags, and I did not use the big old huge bag that we would have in our normal facility. We went the very small Wave Master. It was kind of, we call it our travel bag. And they were accommodating enough to allow us to leave four or five of those bags in their facility. And we always had one bag for two people. Realize as you bring a program into there, they don't know anything about what you're already doing. So to have them net share a bag could be a natural thing. It's like, well, it's better than punching in the air. So we had a minimum startup cost, enough to cover bands, because we just used a lot of the bands we already had here, took it down there. So $2,000 revenue, uh, $400 a month in our, for the program for my instructor, and then probably about another $500 in startup cost. And that's the very first one, it's the only one where we're gonna have those startup costs. So I cleared about a thousand in that weeks with me personally showing up once a week for 10 weeks. So you see, it was profitable. And then the next one, as we start, as we go on, our bags have already been purchased, our bands have already been purchased. Now I really only have the expense of my instructor, who again at $20 a class, even if I take myself out of the loop, comes to $600 for the year, for the 10 week course. And again, if I can keep it in to where the student is paying me around $200 for the 10 week course, I cut it off and they have to give me at least eight participants. So I'm at $1,600 worth of the revenue. I've got an instructor in there three days a week. I'm making almost 100% on my classes. I mean, there's a good little profit there and I'm doing very little of my time and effort to make that happen. And the only thing you've got to make sure of is that they're being catered to. The class is taught, the instructor shows, and that a lot of the elements of the UBC are there. You, 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 you do the fitness evaluation. You do the, let them, invite them to any of the award ceremonies that's directly tied to your facility. I wouldn't create new ones for them. There's only eight to 10 people, but at just eight to 10 people at only hundred, only $200 for the 10 week course, we were profitable. And now since we've done this, we are now going into a, we, you know, the kind of words spread out. We sent out a recent email. We've gotten 16 bytes of schools that want to do the program now and are definitely excited about doing it at the beginning of next year. I honestly think we'll have at least 10 to 15 satellites in the school system beginning of next year. Now, the process is getting the instructors changed. Where do you get instructors? Well, guys, look at this as an opportunity. If you can advertise in your community that you can have someone join your facility as a instructor in training, you know, one of my favorite headlines is get paid, get in great shape and get paid doing it. People are looking for additional revenue, so now you can utilize that. Realize your certification cost is only $99 per certification. You can charge $349, $449, whatever, especially for marketing it just to the outside public as a form of additional revenue in the business opportunity sections of your classified ads. You're going to get calls from people who are looking at this in a different way, a way of making money. Well, it costs money to make money. A certification is not cheap. So it's another, could become another revenue stream for you. I know we're doing it here. We're constantly getting new people coming in, whether it's current students, uh, and we need the instructors. So we're creating that as a, as a revenue stream. 